Redstone on a beautiful sunny day here in Northern Alabama. I am extremely proud and humbled to be standing in front of you this morning to receive both the opportunity and honor of commanding this wonderful organization. I'd like to take a few moments to express deep appreciation to Mayor Trulock, Mayor Madison, Colonel Leif Johnson, Spouse of Army Material Command, Deputy Commanding General, Lieutenant General Patricia McQuistian, Mr. John Nurger, Executive Director, Army Material Command, Major General James McDonald, Commanding General, U.S. Army Security Assistance Command, Major General Camille Nichols, Deputy Commanding General, Installation Management Command, and the first Commanding General for both the Expeditionary Contracting Command and the Army Contracting Command, and my former Commanding General, Philip. Uh, Ms. Wendy Harrison, Wife of Major General Ted Harrison, Commanding General, Army Material Command, Command Sergeant Major David Quigg, Command Sergeant Major, Army uh, Contracting Command, and his wife, Linda Lopez Quigg, uh, Command Sergeant Major Clark, and Command Sergeant Major Retired Murray and his family, uh, Ms. Debbie Hoskin, love of my life, uh, Ms. Tiffany Noel, <coughs> District Director, Representative from the Office of Congressman Mo Brooks, Ms. Carrie Suggs, Representative of the Office of Secretary Richard Shelby, uh, Dean Mark Lum from Defense Acquisition University, and a warm welcome to all other general officers, command sergeants, majors, and members of senior executive service, and other distinguished guests and friends attending today. I'd also like to thank my previous commanders, uh, the Color Guard and the band for your tremendous performance and support to this command. Uh, certainly not blind to the work time and planning and dedication an event like this requires. I'd like to share my deepest appreciation to everybody uh, that have worked so hard to make the ceremony possible. Thank you. A special thank goes to my wife, Debbie, and my stepmom, Anne, for their continued support and love over many years. And it goes without saying that without their personal sacrifices, I would not be standing here today. Debbie and I are humbled and excited to be giving this opportunity to command ECC and be back in the AMC family. This is the premier contracting organization that has been very successful in its very short five-year history. And by the way, this is the only expeditionary contracting capability of its kind across the DOD enterprise. I can't think of a more fitting location to conduct the Assumption Command Ceremony than right here at AMC Headquarters. AMC continues to evolve and adapt itself to meet the needs of the Army. I'll continue to build upon the hard work of AMC, ACC, and my predecessors to continue to construct critical acquisition and contracting capabilities for our Army and Joint Forces. Although ECC is a newer command within the Army and the AMC family, its workforce possesses some of the most dedicated and talented soldiers, civilians, and contractors I've come across in my 28 short years in the Army. Since my time as Brigade Commander under ECC, I've often been asked how such a relatively small organization has been and continues to be such a force multiplier across the Army's global operations. And my answer has always been the same, it's the people. Army Expeditionary Contracting's power is the combined strength of its military, civil service professionals, foreign nationals, and contractors, the total force. Debbie and I are new to Alabama and are thrilled to be in Huntsville. Huntsville's outstanding government commercial relationship with the Army is the benchmark for all other communities to emulate. Expect both Debbie and I to participate actively across community initiatives and events and continue to make Huntsville such an outstanding place to work, live, and play. <clears throat> I'd like to close with a couple of quotes that I think are appropriate for today's ceremony and that I believe reflect the type of leader that I strive to be every day. In terms of the importance I place on a fully integrated civilian soldier team and also the critical importance of government and industry working together in service of our nation, I believe General Omar Bradley put it best when he said, battles are won by the infantry, the armor, the artillery, and air teams, by soldiers living in the rains and tumbling in the snow, but wars are won by the great strength of a nation, the soldier and the civilian working together. In terms of the command climate and attitude I commit myself to maintain across the organization each and every day, General Colin Powell put it best when he said, 
perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. And in terms of my commitment to each and every member of the workforce, it's very important to understand that I fully embrace the notion of the servant leadership. Or as Andre Moreau put it, to command us to serve, nothing more and nothing less. Major General Harrison, Mr. Brian Sampson, thank you for your continued service to our nation and your trust and confidence in me. We will continue to lead the expeditionary component of ACC and continue to mature the effectiveness of contracting for our Army and DOD. Thank you.